So what was I talking about? Oh, Auntie Natasha's wisdom. You might have noticed I was just, uh, I just asked the creator to help me heal from my sadness. You know, a lot of us kind of walk around with a certain level of sadness, a grief. Osita Wendem. Osita Wendem. And sometimes that comes about because maybe, maybe uh, somebody, grief is, is like sadness from loss. Maybe somebody you loved went away. I remember being a little girl, my best friend moved away. That was sad. I had grief over my friend moving away. I thought I'd never see him again. And then I remember when my grandpa died. Oh, that was a tough one. Got real sad when that old codger finally started his journey to the land of everlasting happiness, you know. But boy, there's nothing like the grief you go through when you lose a pet. So this is a poem, and it's a tribute to a best friend. It's been a few years, but I used to have a little kitty called Princess. Princess. <laughs> She's a little white cat. I loved her so much. Oh, I just love that that silly old cat. Maybe you have a cat like that too. But Princess got really old and then passed away. And I took it really hard. Oh, I cried and cried. <laughs> Started praying all the time. Please help me. Help me get over my sadness. Help me heal from my sadness. We do go wishing. Ando gagage ni we gushkenda moen. Help me heal from my sadness. And some of the things I found that help are prayer. You know, get on your knees, pray. But sometimes if you write a poem or a song, or draw a picture. Do something to tribute. So this poem is called Tribute to a Best Friend. Sunlight streams through window pane onto a spot on the floor. Then I remember it's where you used to lie, but now you are no more. Our feet walk down a hall of carpet and muted echoes sound. And then I remember. It's where your paws would joyously abound. A voice is heard along the road and up beyond the hill. Then I remember, it can't be yours. Your golden voice is still. But I'll take that vacant spot of floor and empty muted hall and lay them with the absent voice an unused dish along the wall. I'll wrap these treasured memories in a blanket of my love and keep them for my best friend until we meet above. This is tribute to a best friend for Princess. Miigwech Kichimanadu. Thank you, Great Spirit. Take care of my cat until I get up there. <laughs> Say hi to Princess for me. Finally, 
This is my best Auntie Natasha's advice. Auntie Natasha's moment of wisdom. You're not, if your pet, pet passes away, you might say to yourself, well, that's it. I'm never getting another pet. I can't take it. My heart's too broken. I heard a little voice. No, I didn't. I had an inspiration or something. When I was really sad over Princess dying, I didn't want to get another cat ever. And then I... I didn't hear the voice, but I, I had this idea in my head like it was a voice from the spirit of Princess. And she was saying, You don't honor me by never getting over me. You don't honor me by never getting over me. If you really want to honor your pet who passed away, you got to get over them. And the best way to get over them is to get another pet. Give a new pet the life your old pet used to have. That's what we did. We went out and got a, <laughs> a big fat black cat and we named him Bagheera. And he has no idea that the only reason he's living with us is because we wanted to honor Princess. This little white cat who probably wouldn't even like Bagheera <laughs> if she had ever met him. <laughs> but, all right. This has been your Auntie Natasha's Moment of Nibwaka Win. Moment of Wisdom. <laughs> I am your Auntie Natasha, and I will see you again. Giga Waba Min. Minowa. I suppose they're better to go in. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Bonjour. Hi, sweetie. Hey, you ready to come in? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, hang on. Let me scan for your coordinates. <laughs> okay. And lock it in on your coordinates. All right. And that's one to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> nah. <laughs>